Eight ways to make your car last longer. The average age of a car at scrappage is around 14 years, while the average age of vehicles on the road is closer to eight years. But don't worry, there are some simple steps you can take to give your motor the best chance of reaching its golden years. 1. Maintain your car's battery. If you don't use your car for long periods of time, the battery will degrade and go flat. Consider using a trickle charger to keep the battery topped up if your car is left in a garage for an extended period of time or a battery conditioner if it appears to hold less charge than usual. If your car battery does go flat, having to jump start a car puts additional strain on the battery and may damage the engine management system and other delicate electronics, a double whammy of increased wear. To look after your battery without a trickle charger, you should try to drive your car at least once a week if possible, particularly in winter. 2. Change filters regularly. Your car's oil filter and air filter become clogged over time, so it's important to renew them regularly. They should be replaced as part of scheduled car servicing, but both are relatively simple jobs, particularly an air filter swap, so you might want to give it a try yourself and save money in the process. You can even get a mobile mechanic to do a service from the convenience of your driveway. You can often prolong the life of the air filter by washing it, too. Consult your handbook for advice on filter cleaning and changes, and be sure to use genuine parts. Cheap, poor quality filters could damage your engine in the longer term. Find out more about what's involved in a car service and whether you can do some jobs yourself. 3. Drive smoothly. Driving with mechanical sympathy is something you should practice at all times. That means using the controls of your car while understanding how it works. Doing so will reduce component wear and you'll make your fuel go further. Simple things like using the steering wheel, gearbox and pedals smoothly are key, along with looking well ahead to reduce the need for sudden braking. Our guide on how to save fuel offers many more tips to improve your driving style to get the most out of your car and its fuel economy. 4. Use your air conditioning. Use it or lose it is a phrase that could be applied to air conditioning. Air con systems inevitably leak refrigerant gas over time, particularly if they aren't used regularly. Leaving your air con off may save fuel, but you could end up with a bill for air conditioning regassing instead often around 50 pounds, available at most garages and fast-fit centers. And yes, that means occasionally letting your vents blow cold in winter, too. 5. Replace spark plugs and leads. As cars become ever more complicated, drivers are understandably less inclined to do their own servicing. However, replacing spark plugs and high-tension leads is another straightforward job you can do yourself to optimize your engine's performance. Bear in mind that you should always consult your vehicle handbook beforehand and stick to the service schedule though. When inspecting a spark plug, check that it has a light brown electrode and insulator. No signs of melting. No signs of wear or deposits. A spark plug in a poor condition either indicates wear over time and needs replacing or can hint at the condition of your engine. If the plug is relatively new and has developed a significant gap between the electrode and the insulator, then it could be an indication that the engine is underperforming. If that's the case, you should consult your local garage. If the leads have cracks or show signs of heavy wear, they should be replaced. We recommend using a reputable garage to carry this out. However, if you have the experience and feel confident, you could do it yourself as long as you follow your vehicle handbook's guidelines. This point doesn't apply to diesel cars as they don't use spark plugs. 6. Top up fluids regularly. Fluids are your car's lifeblood and failing to replenish them may have dire consequences. Check your engine oil and car lubricants once a fortnight by opening the bonnet with your car on level ground and removing the dipstick. Give it a wipe with a rag then give it a dip. When it comes back out, the oil level should be between the minimum and maximum markers, and a light yellowy-brown color if your car has a petrol engine. Dark, dirty oil should be replaced. However, diesel engine oil accumulates soot as part of the normal combustion process, so dark-colored oil isn't a cause for alarm with a diesel car. 
Other areas to check fortnightly include the coolant reservoir, which you should top up with 50% distilled water and 50% antifreeze, and the windscreen washer bottle. We recommend a shop bought screen wash for the latter. Don't be tempted to use washing up liquid as it contains salt and other additives that will damage paintwork. 7. Check your tires. Tires are arguably your car's most important safety feature, and it's no exaggeration to say that checking them regularly, about once a week, could save your life. Underinflated tires will also increase fuel consumption, so keep them topped up to the recommended pressures listed in your car's handbook to save money. Watch our quick video on how to check your tire pressure, health, and tread depth. Remember, tire pressures may be different for the front and rear tires. Some experts suggest rotating your tires, i.e., swapping the fronts to the rear, and vice versa, in order to even out wear and prolong tire life. However, in the interests of safety, we recommend using the least worn tires on the back axle, as loss of front grip, understeer, is much easier to manage than a rear end slide, oversteer. 8. Avoid resting your foot on the clutch and your hand on the gear stick. Some drivers are inclined to drive with their foot resting on the clutch pedal. This pushes the clutch release bearing in contact with the clutch cover, leading to unnecessary friction. Over time, the clutch can wear out prematurely. Similarly, it's tempting to rest your hand on your gear stick between gear changes, but this applies pressure to the selector fork and other internal parts. The added friction speeds up wear and tear on the gearbox. Try to get into the habit of moving your hand onto the steering wheel and resting your left foot elsewhere in the footwell instead.